so this is continuation of lecture number 24 and in this particular part of the lecture i will be discussing about the operation and control mechanism of a wind turbine so uh, ge uh, wind energy is a branch of uh, uh, ge renewable energy uh, subsidiary for uh, general electric company this company manufactures and sell windmill turbines to international market so the windmill uh, of uh, ge company start operating above uh, the cut in speed that is around 3 to 5 meter per uh, second in the new uh, ge wind turbine they give a maximum power output at uh, rated wind speeds of around 14 me uh, meter uh, per second that is the limit for the new uh, ge wind turbine and they stop their operation above the uh, cut out speed that is defined around 25 meter uh, per second in the la uh, latest development uh, the ge has just announced that its enormous 12 uh, megawatt wind turbine is uh, getting an additional 1 megawatt makeover Uh, on its way to uh, uh, gigantic uh, jogger bank offshore wind farm in the north sea where one sweep of its mighty blade will produce enough clean kilowatts to keep a typical household running for more than about 2 days the rotor diameters for the uh, regular modern uh, large uh, wind turbines is greater than 100 meter the wind turbine operation is illustrated by uh, this graph and this graph is basically divided in uh, four zones the wind uh, turbine operation regions in uh, zone 1 and 4 the wind turbine is not likely to operate however in zone 2 the wind turbine operates under the automatic control action which obtains uh, maximum conversion for the uh, kin uh, conversion uh, in electricity for the kinetic energy that is uh, able, uh, that is uh, basically um, present in uh, the wind now i will discuss about uh, the uh, speed control or the regular control of the wind turbine power and uh, speed regulation of a wind turbine is achieved by manipulating the blade angle position or the blade pitch with the blade positioning system and the blade pitch feedback control scheme or the pitch control the objective of the pitch control are uh, different at various uh, regions of the power curve when uh, there is no speed control the turbine uh, must be able to handle the wind gust so the basically the wind turbine control is necessary uh, to ensure low maintenance cost and effective performance the control system also guarantees the safe operation of the wind mill and also optimizes the power output and ensure the long structural life turbine rotational speed and the generator speed are the two key areas that uh, one must uh, control for power limitation and optimization the control methods and the control uh, strategies i will discuss uh, uh, it about uh, a little uh, later you can use different control methods to either optimize or uh, limit the power of your windmill you can control uh, the turbine by controlling the generator speed you can control the blade angle adjustment 
and rotation of the entire windmill blade angle adjustment and the turbine uh, rotation are also known as the pitch and uh, the yaw control the windmill uh, blades produce noise at higher speeds so yaw control tilts the turbine out of the wind direction and this process reduces the overall noise pollution the purpose of pitch control is to maintain the optimum blade angle to achieve certain rotor speeds or certain output powers you can use pitch adjustment to stall the windmill two methods of pitch con uh, controls uh, are present by stalling uh, a wind turbine you increase the angle of attack which causes the flat side of the blade to face further uh, towards the wind and the second method is furling furling decreases the uh, angle of attack causing the edge of the blade to face the oncoming wind pitch angle uh, adjustment is the most effective way to limit the output power by changing the aerodynamic force on the blades at high wind speed whereas the yard drive also produces a uh, noise uh, if uh, it is turned too fast so it must be controlled in order to reduce uh, the uh, noise pollution yaw refers to the rotation of enti entire wind turbine in the horizontal axis yaw control basically ensures uh, that the turbine is constantly facing uh, into the wind in order to maximize the effective uh, rotor area and as a result more power can be extracted because uh, wind direction can uh, vary quickly and um, also its uh, speed can uh, vary in, in minutes the turbine may misalign with the oncoming wind and uh, this might cause the power losses so the yaw drive uh, control is also important the next is the stall control uh, uh, in this uh, uh, strategy the blades are pitched on to a position of stall so no lift force is produced this happens at a, a high pitch angle when the wind strikes the leading edge of the blade but leaves the blade surface before the trailing edge this results in higher drag uh, and uh, but the uh, output power is uh, low there is another uh, final type of control that we uh, deal with the electrical sub systems and you can achieve this dynamic control with power electronics or more specifically electronic converters that are coupled to the generator the two types of generator controls are the stator control and the rotor control the stator and the rotor are the stationary and the non stationary parts of a generator respectively in each case uh, you have to disconnect the stator or rotor from the grid in order to change the synchronous speed of the generator independently of the voltage of the frequency of the grid controlling the synchronous generator speed is the most effective way to optimize the maximum power output at uh, uh, lower wind speeds so uh, this is the pie chart uh, which illustrates the speed control methods used in small to medium sized turbines in which uh, the 36% role is of the pitch control 8% control is from the stall 10% from the yaw and 12% for no control and 34% uh, for the tilt control is illustrated.